Is the sync button missing in your SharePoint online site? Learn four easy ways to fix or disable it. Fast and simple. Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you how to disable sync feature in SharePoint online document library. Level and site level. In four different ways. For instance, this is my custom document library. You can see here the sync button is enabled and you can sync this document library with your local drive. But due to some requirement, you may not need this. Then how to permanently disable this. I will show you the step-by-step -step process. First, I will show you at the document library level and then I will show you at the site level. I will show this both ways using the UI and PNP PowerShell ways. So let's get started. I am my document library and I want to disable sync for this document library. For that, what I need to do is go to my document library settings and then click on the library settings. From the gear icon, click on the library settings, then more library settings. Then click on this advanced settings. Then you will see a Section, Offline, and Sync. Specify whether this document library can be accessed offline and synced to a computer. Allow people to sync this document library to their computers with Microsoft OneDrive and access it offline. By default, this is yes, change this to no. The moment you change this selection to no, the correspondent radio button gets disabled. Allow people to access this document library in the browser without an internet connection. So you need to select this offline and sync configuration from yes to no, and then just click on the OK button. Right now, you can notice here you don't see the sync button in this document library ribbon menu. Now, if you have multiple document libraries in your site, and out of these document libraries, in a few document libraries. If you want to disable the sync button, then you can take this approach. Otherwise, if you want to disable sync at the site level, you also can do that. In the next section, I will show you how to do that. For that, what you need to do is go to your site settings page. I'm going to my site settings page. This is my site settings page. Then you'll find this search and offline availability from the search section. Click on this. Search and offline availability. Then you'll see this offline client availability section. This specifies whether this site should be available for offline clients. Allow items from this site to be downloaded to offline clients. By default, this setting is yes. You need to change it to no. Now, if you make this change to no, None of your document libraries from your specified site will have the sync feature enabled. By now I have shown this in two ways. Now I will show you how these two configurations can be done using the PNP PowerShell script. This is my PNP PowerShell script. This script will disable the sync button at the SharePoint site level. So you can use this script as is. You just need to pass your SharePoint site URL where you want to disable the sync button. With this script execution, none of your document libraries from the given site will have the sync button. Similarly, if you want to disable sync button for a specific document library from your site, you can pass the site URL and document library name, and then you can execute this script. Now I will show you one more interesting thing how you can disable this sync button even in your OneDrive. For that, what you need to do is log into your Microsoft 365 Admin Center then. Go to this Admin Center section and then find out SharePoint. Then you will get into the SharePoint Admin Center portal. Click on the settings. In this screen, you can search with OneDrive and then you'll get OneDrive Sync. Click on this. So here you can 
See this option. Use these settings to control syncing of files in OneDrive and SharePoint. Show the sync button on the OneDrive website. So if you uncheck this one and save this page, your OneDrive also will not have the sync button enabled. So this is very much important for managing sync feature in your tenant. I hope you found this demo helpful and learned something new today. If it added value to your day, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. More exciting content on Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint Online, and more is on the way. Stay tuned and thank for your support. Thank you.